Guys, I bring you another New World video showcasing all known legendary swords in the game. I will mention a lot of these haven't been obtained yet, as well as some of the images you will see are placeholder images, so the weapon in game may look different when you find it. But in terms of the weapon stats, that's all here, so let's go. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So, within this video, guys, I'll showcase to you all known legendary swords in the game and how they're obtained. Now like I said some of the images are placeholders and also some of the weapons haven't been found yet so I'm hoping you guys can help me out. So if there's one in this video I don't know where it's obtained and you do please let me know and I'll edit the video description. So let's go. First up we have the use sign will. Now this is classed as a world drop but obviously you need to hit a certain level before you start seeing legendaries actually drop especially weapons like this. I believe that level to be around a 40 to a 50 but don't quote me on that but it is definitely a world drop and can drop anywhere across new world. Next up guys we have the brilliant refraction. This is also classed as a world drop. It drops from multiple sources of enemies. Again though, I believe you need to be around a level 40 before you'll see this drop or be added into the loot pool. And my friend did have this drop from Malju, Soldier of Blight, who's located within the green defiling Brightwood, right here on the map. So if you want to go try farm this, this is definitely the dude. I think he's got like a one minute gap in between his spawns as well. If you go here in a multiple team, he will respawn instantly as long as you kill him quick enough. So go get this thing. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Shatter Slash. This is a weapon that can be crafted via their weapon smithing. So a trade skill needs to be weapon smithing obviously, it requires a station of a blacksmith tier 4. Your weapon smithing needs to be a level 145. Trade skill XP needs to be 2625 and territory standing a 70. Next up guys you have the Curiosity Greed. So this one is exclusive to any major enemy within the endgame expeditions. So that's the Garden of Genesis, the Depths and the Lazarus Instrumentality. So you want to get this thing, the Curiosity Greed, you need to enter into those endgame expeditions. Next up guys we have the Primordial Edge. This sword is an exclusive drop from the Garden of Genesis enemy, the boss, the Blighty Gatekeeper. So this is who you have to go farm to get this thing. Next up guys we have the Captain's Deal. Now this is a legendary sword which is exclusive to those lost equipment caches. These as far as I am aware drop from certain bosses within the game. But from my understanding the Siren Queen a level 66 arena boss is most noted in giving out these lost equipment caches. Which makes sense if you understand the lore. Go farm the Siren Queen arena, level 66 arena if you want to get this thing. Next up guys we have the Pit Lord Dominator. Now this is classed as a world drop as it drops from multiple sources of enemies. Like I said though I don't believe any of these world drop legendaries are added into the loot pool until you get to around that level 40 mark. Next up guys we have the Lane's Lament. So this legendary sword I believe is added into the loot pool of ancient chests, supply stockpiles and I believe almost every kind of crate, obviously with that small chance once you hit around a level 40 to 50. So a past the 40 plus, this has a small chance of dropping from those chests. Next up guys, we have the Crimson Vow. So this legendary sword drops I believe from level 59 and 60 corrupted equipment caches, found via those corrupted events. They're all around the harder positions of the map. I mean, corrupted events are all over the map, but the level 59 and 60 versions are obviously in the harder parts of the map. And this is a weapon believed tied exclusively to these corrupted equipment caches. Next up guys we have the Whisper of the Wood. This is a legendary sword that can only be crafted. So it requires a blacksmith tier 5, it requires a weaponsmithing level of 195, trade skill XP needs to be 5115 and territory standing at 99. Okay so onto the three swords we don't know where these are obtained from. 
Firstly, we have the rallying cry. Then we have the untrodden path. And lastly, we have the Alcazar. Now these, like I said right now, as I'm making this video, we don't know where these are obtained, but if you do, please let me know and I'll edit the video description. But there we have it guys, all known legendary swords, long swords that is, in the game. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more new world, be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.